so in the last video we were talking about jumps and labels and you can see I have the same program from jumps and labels um, running now so now I want to show you how you can use jumps and labels to be part of um, more complicated programs so I'm going to go to view and then look for digital inputs and now you see I have a toolbox open on the bottom and there are you can see the different digital inputs that are connected here so as we look you will see those represent the digital inputs on the controller so when a switch is connected a three beam sensor sensor a photo reflective sensor any kind of input is connected you'll get a response from that digital input so right now I have a digital input connected to the controller of the scorebot. So now when that input is activated you see you get a green light here in the dialog section. The light is also illuminated in the controller of the scorebot. So that's my old program for ready to go and I don't really want to delete I want to still be able to use my positions and those kinds of things so I'm just gonna go through and delete those lines alright and I want to write a program now that'll show you how to respond to various inputs so I'm gonna start with a label command and I can name that anything I want and so I choose a name that means something to me. And I think this time I picked hanging around because what I initially want to do is I want to write a program that is going to continue to cycle and wait for that digital input to come on. So if I want them to react to inputs, I need to go down to the uh, folder from the work commands workstations on inputs and outputs so I collapsed the program flow box and exploded inputs and outputs and put in a command that says if input one is on jump to and I named it something now, I don't even have that in there but now what I've done is I've said okay if it's not on I want you to jump to hanging around All right. so right now I have a program that will look at the label if the input one is on it'll jump over the command and go to the next section if it's not that jump to hanging around command in line three will cause it to um, jump back to the top and continue to loop over and over so now I'm just writing a program that will execute some movements if input one is on or if switch one is triggered okay and again you can set them so that they're designed for normally open or normally closed and then at the bottom I want it to jump to hanging around again and start over but I've noticed I didn't label my section that was if the switch is on so I have to label that I went back and put that in at line 4 now I click on the top and I click run single cycle but this will continue to run continuously so now the program is waiting for the output to come on or the input to come on and there you see it's changed and so it's running this other part of the program now as long as that's on it's going to continue to it'll go from the bottom back up to hanging around now when it gets to jump to hanging around at the bottom it's going to jump all the way back up to the top and then it will loop there waiting for input one to be on again and so it's stuck in that loop just checking the state of that input if that input is reactivated then it will come on and so now the input's been reactivated and it's executing this part that input that switch whatever that is is off now 
and so when it gets to jumps to hanging around it will begin to run in that loop over and over and over again so then I've stopped the program and you can see how that looks <laughs>